This is the all new TT Artisan 27 millimeter F 2.8 AF. Yes, that stands for autofocus. And this is the first TT Artisan lens that I think they've ever released with autofocus. Now this has been out for the Fuji X mount for a couple of months now. It's finally here for Sony E mount. And in this video, I'm going to be checking it out. So let's jump in by seeing how this thing comes packaged. The answer is in a tiny little all black box, not gray and black like what we're used to. Inside there is a user manual and a warranty card and the lens. Now the lens caps are a little unique starting with the rear lens cap. It's larger than usual because it has electronic contacts and a USB-C port. This can be used supposedly for future firmware updates, which is awesome. Around the front, there is a little plastic clip on lens cap but also the world's smallest metal lens hood that attaches onto the front of the lens. And the lens cap also clips onto this lens hood as well. It's different. Anyway, onto the lens, it's very compact, a pancake about an inch long made out of some sort of aluminum and glass and a little bit of plastic. It weighs an astonishingly light 88 grams, which makes me wonder if it's filled with helium. All metal rear mount, electronic connections, no weather sealing gasket here. On the side, there is a serial number made in China and a clicky aperture ring that moves from a blue f2.8 all the way to a white f16 to a red a for auto. The focus ring is next and it is relatively smooth, not super well damped and a bit plastic sounding, but since this lens has autofocus, I will let it slide. Around the front, you get a dime sized front lens element and a bunch of info. DJ optical, nope. He wasn't on this lens release, just a TT Artisan logo, some lens specs with a 39 millimeter filter thread, and a minimum focus distance of 0.35 meters or 1.15 feet. Overall, it doesn't feel exceptionally premium because of the weight, but I think it's a mostly aluminum lens with a few bits of plastic here and there. Mounted on my camera, it feels like there isn't a lens on it. It's very light, very compact. It makes for a setup that you can jam into a back pocket if you wanted to and made some effort. It's a good looking, clean lens, although the small aperture ring does make accessing and adjusting the aperture a bit challenging. But the important bit is performance. Now this is a 27 millimeter, which on a full frame is equivalent to about a 40 millimeter. So I'd say this is kind of like a street photography, semi portrait lens. So I took this out with my a6100 and I shot some photos, maybe a couple of videos. Let's check those out. Ready, set, go. So this little TT Artisan lens is pretty good. I do have a couple of small complaints, but optically I'd say it's above average. Wide open at f2.8, it is quite sharp across the frame, plenty usable, but it gets tack sharp at f4 and beyond. For reference, here is the Sigma 30mm f1.4 at f2.8, and surprisingly this TT Artisan is sharper in the corners at f2.8. It's just as sharp in the center as well. Colors and contrast are great, better than a lot of other TT Artisan lenses out on the market. In terms of distortion, it's a good performance as well. This lens has a moderate amount of barrel distortion, but quite a bit of vignetting. You probably saw that in the side-by-side -side with the Sigma. The corners are quite dark with this TT Artisan at least wide open. They do get much better at f4. In terms of chromatic aberration, there is some, but it's not as big of an issue as it is with other lenses. I would say it has moderate fringing, but being that this lens is an f2.8, I'm sure that that helps. As far as flaring, this is an area where this lens is a bit weak. There is 
a lot of flaring and quite a bit of ghosting and a loss of contrast, which is unfortunate. The bokeh is pretty good overall. It has a unique look that's kind of vintage, some swirliness, and it cat eyes in every direction from the center. You're not going to get huge bokeh balls because it is f2.8, but it is a respectable performance in my opinion. Foreground bokeh is also pretty good looking. But the biggest problem with this lens is the autofocus. It reminds me of traveling back in time, let's say 10 years ago, and all of the Canon lenses that had autofocus were like this. It is a little bit noisy and your onboard microphone will pick it up if you're using your onboard microphone. Take a listen. And then there is the general inconsistency. Sometimes it's just brilliant, but about 15% of the time, it's as if the autofocus motor forgets what its job is and it just freezes. Or in other moments, it just refuses to focus no matter how hard you try. And this is on a newer A6100 camera body. I'd imagine this would be worse on an older A6000. The only positive that I can see is this lens cap and the built-in USB-C port and the adapter being able to use this to update firmware if firmware is released would be very beneficial. And I'm sure that TT Artisan can improve the autofocusing performance of this lens in future firmware updates. But the question is, will they? There are a lot of bigger, more reputable companies out there that have given up on firmware releases, even when people are begging them for them. So that is something that remains to be seen. So where does this lens stand? Well, I have to talk first about the price. It's an impressive $149 US, which for an autofocusing prime f2.8 lens is quite the bargain, especially one that is sharp across the frame. The only other lens that I could recommend considering is the Sigma 30 millimeter f1.4, which is currently 265 US dollars. And it's not quite as sharp in the corners, at least. It is better in low light and the build is better, the colors and the bokeh is better, but it's it's quite a bit heavier, but the autofocus works much better. Decisions. For a first autofocusing prime lens, this is very impressive. Now I'm not going to run out and replace all of my autofocusing Sigmas with these lenses, at least just yet, but I am looking forward to seeing what TT Artisan comes out with next, because this is a great start, and if they continue with this, I can see a lot of very popular autofocusing primes in the future. So that is quite exciting. If you guys are interested in reading more about this and checking prices, I'll have a link down in the description below. So definitely check that out. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments section about this lens. Are you excited about this? Would you pick one of these up? Always curious to hear what you guys have to say. And that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and you learned something. Thank you as always for all of your comments, all of your likes and your support. Stay tuned for more. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.